Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at some little known secrets of using BIREF and BIVAL. Now, BIREF and BIVAL are used when we're passing parameters to another sub. And I've often got asked about what is the difference between them. So in this video, I'm going to go through and show you exactly what the differences are. And you'll see that they have different behaviors depending on the type of variables that we're passing. Now, if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you'd like to hear more from about my upcoming videos, then please click on the subscribe button below the video. So let's get started by looking at the basic variables and how they handle by ref and by val. Now you can see on the screen here that we have a very simple long variable. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass this variable into a sub. So how we pass it into a sub is like this. We create the sub and then we set up our parameter what we want it to be. Now in this case, I'm going to say a as long. And in the sub, I'm going to change the value of a to equal 100. So what effect does this have on the total if we pass total to this sub? So this is what we want to look at when we're looking at by ref and by val. So we use call calc to call the sub and then we pass it total as the parameter. So let's step through the code using F8 to see exactly what happens. So we set total equals one. Then we call calc. Inside calc, A will be set to 100. And when we come back out, we check total now. And you can see that total now is equal to 100. So the reason for this is that we have to select either by ref or by val when we pass a parameter to a sub. Now, if we don't specify whichever one it is, then it uses by ref by default. So what we've just done is basically the same as if we have by ref. Now the difference here is key. By ref means that we're referencing this original item. In other words, what VBA is doing under the hood is it's passing the address. So when we change the variable in the calc sub, it will actually change the original variable. So let's put a breakpoint here and let's run the code. And now if we put the cursor over total, you can see total is equal 100. So as I said, the default and is always by ref. So that's why we see it as being the same. Now, if we change by ref to by val, what this actually means is that we're passing by value. And in other words, we're just basically giving the value to the sub. We're not giving the original variable. So even if the sub changes the variable, it doesn't affect the original because basically it's just a copy of that. So let's step through the code and we've set a equal to 100. And when we come back out and then we look at what total is, you can see that total is one. So total does not change because we're passing by val. And as I said, passing by val simply means that we're creating a copy. We're just passing a copy of the value. So this type of behavior for by val and by ref, this happens with any of the basic variable types. So the basic types mean they're basically variables that contain one value. So this would be something like a double, a long, a string, or a date. So for example, if we change total to string and we change the text, so we set the text down here to be new text. And let's just set the text here to be original. So what we'll see is that it works in exactly the same way as if it was an integer. So we've got by ref, we run the code, and you'll see that total now has the new text because again, by ref means that we're passing the original or a reference to the original. But as far as we're concerned, it's the original that we're passing. Now, if we change it to by val, again, we're passing by value, which means we're just creating a copy. And when we run the code and we check total, you can see that it has the original text. So by passing it to the sub has not affected it in this case. So now we're going to look at what exactly happens when we pass an array using by ref and by val? So here we've got a very simple array and we've got a sub called print array. So let's pass it the array and we do it like this. We do the parentheses and we say as string. And then what we'll do inside is we'll change one of the values here. We'll say two in this case and we'll just set it to be banana. And then of course we have to call the print array. And of course we pass it the array. 
So what should happen if we pass it by ref? So we'll start with by ref in this case. I'll put a breakpoint here, we'll run the code, and let's look at the watch. So let's just take array and let's do Shift F9, and then we do add, just, so just click on add, and you can see we have the array. Let's open it up and you can see that it now has banana instead of pear. So this clearly shows that passing the array by ref means that if we change it in the sub, it will change the original. So what happens if we do by val? Well, this is kind of interesting because if we do by val, what actually happens is we get a syntax error. Array argument must be by ref. So we can't even write the code that says an array is by val. So in conclusion, the array must always be passed by ref. So we've looked at the standard way that we use arrays, but often when we're using VBA, we declare an array as a variant like I have here, and then when we declare it as a variant, what we do is we basically assign it to some range of values. So how does this one work? And it does work a bit different than the other array. Let's check it out by changing it. And what we'll do is we'll say A51, and we're gonna change the value equal to 1,000. Now the values I have in the sheet range are one to five. So if it changes to 1,000, it'll be pretty clear what has happened. So let's run this code. And now we've run the code, let's have a look at what's in array. And let's set the value to, or let's set the, the index to be 51, and we can see it now has the value 1,000. So when we use by ref, it has the value 1,000. So let's use by val now. And when we run the code, what actually happens is we can pass the variant as by val. And even if we change it, it doesn't affect the original one. So you can see that the original array is the same. So if we're using array as a variant in this case, it behaves the very same as a standard variable. So a variable like a double, a long or a string. So you can see that the way the two arrays work is actually quite different. So now we're going to look at objects. And for this example, we're going to use the collection as the object. So how objects behave is actually quite different than the previous methods or the previous types of variables that we've seen. So we're going to pass by ref our collection. We'll call it C as collection. And what we're going to do is we're going to add to this collection. So we're going to add something, we'll say a peach. And then of course, we're going to call it as normal print collection. And we're going to pass it the collection. So we run the code to the end. And then let's just drop our collection into the watch window and let's break it open. And you can see we passed it by ref. So when a change was made, it actually changed the collection. So this is what we would expect. Now where it gets a bit unusual is that if we change this to by val and then we run the code, what would you expect would happen? So you'd expect that it wouldn't have changed the original. But we look and we see that actually it has. So if we pass by by val, or by ref, it will actually change the collection. So this doesn't seem to make sense with the behavior of by val, but actually it's correct. And the reason for this is that when VBA stores a collection, so when we do dim call as new collection, VBA creates the collection in one place in memory and it creates the variable call in another place. And the variable call simply contains the address of the collection. Now, we don't need to worry about this because VBA basically takes care of making it seamless. However, in certain cases like this, it's important to understand. So what actually happens is if we pass the variable C or the, the collection, so we're passing the collection. Now, if we say set C equals new collection, C add, and we'll add the peach to the new collection. So let's run this code. Now, if we look in call, you'll see that it hasn't changed the original. And why this is, is because what we've done is we've changed the variable, but the variable that was passed is only a copy of the variable. So if we change the variable at all, it doesn't have any effect on the original variable. Now, if we pass by ref and we change what the, the collection variable is, you can see that it's going to affect it. So we're going to be actually pointing to a new collection. So let's run the code again. And when we open the collection, you can see now it's pointing to the new one. 
and that's because we use by ref. So let's step through the code just to see exactly what's happening. So we step through the code, we go into print collection, and so we've got a variable, and the variable is the same variable that we have outside. So call and see are basically the same variable. And we are setting the variable to point to something new. So it's pointing to a new collection. So let me open the original collection. Points to a new collection. You can see the original collection has changed in the watch window. So we add peach and now you can see peach is added to the original collection. And then we come back out and then we finish. So let's do this again, but this time we're going to use by val. So again, we step through the code, we add the items to the collection and then we go to print collection. Now in this case, what we're passing is not the collection variable, we're just passing a copy of it. So we're basically saying to this sub, here's a copy of this variable, do whatever you want with it, it won't affect the original. So let's open the call in the watch window so we can see. We set C equals a new collection. Now this doesn't affect our original collection because as I said, the variable is simply a copy. We add peach to it, so this does get added to C. But as I said, C is a different variable. So when we get back to our original sub, it hasn't affected the original collection. So you might be a bit confused about all this. So let's do a quick reclap and this will make it much, much clearer. So for a basic variable, by ref will change the original, but by val does not change the original. Now for an array, where we declare an array using parentheses like this, by ref will change the original but by val will give us a syntax error, so we cannot use it. Now for an array of the variant type, by ref changes the original and by val doesn't change the original. So this works like a standard variable. Now for an object such as a collection or a dictionary, by ref changes the original collection, but by val will also change the original collection. So whatever way you pass a collection to a sub, if you change that collection, the collection will be changed. However, the variable of the collection. If you set the variable to another collection or you set it to a new collection, then if you're using by ref, this will change the original variable. If you're using by val, it does not change the original variable. So this is a recap of using by ref versus using by val when using subs or using functions. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the like button. And if you'd like to get notified of my upcoming videos, then click on the subscribe button below. Now, if you've got any questions, queries or comments, you can add them below the video. And don't forget to get the free cheat sheet, which you can get from the description. Just click on the link and you can download it from here. Hope to see you on the next video.